Thanks for tuning in. You are still watching the world news. One was killed and two others injured in a tunnel cave-in Thursday in the construction of a city subway project in Nanning capital of South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. The three construction workers that were buried underground in the cave-in accident, which happened at around 3 o'clock. Two of them were rescued about three hours later, and the third one was dug out more than eight hours later and was rushed to hospital, but was said to have very little chance of survival. A total of six workers were working seven meters underground for laying sewage pipelines when the cave-in occurred, and three of them escaped immediately while the other three were buried as the loosened earth kept sinking down. The cause of the accident is still under investigation. Five people, including three children, were killed in a fire in the Parisian suburb of Genevieve early on Wednesday morning, according to French media. Eighteen others have been injured on the site of the blaze in an apartment building located to the northwest of the city. Over 100 firefighters arrived to tackle the incident, which occurred before dawn. French media reports say it is currently unclear as to how the fire started. A new study has found that prolonged exposure to cosmic radiation could increase the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. The findings raise questions about the dangers associated with future manned mission to Mars. Sharon Rich has more. These astronauts are shaking out their nerves. After all, spacewalking is dangerous business. One false move could prove fatal. But according to Dr. M. Kerry O'Banion and his research team at the University of Rochester Medical Center, astronauts of the future, those taking long journeys to Mars or the asteroid belt, may have even more to worry about. Uh, in addition to the known risks that are all already out in space, uh, including potential risks for increased risk of cancer or other kinds of problems such as cataracts and, and so forth that have been already reported, um, by in-radiation experiments like ours. There's also the potential that you could exacerbate uh, neurodegenerative disease. The researchers exposed lab mice to high levels of cosmic radiation, the same amount an astronaut would be exposed to over the three years it would take to get to Mars. They found that the mice began showing signs of Alzheimer's disease. O'Banion says current spacecraft technology works well to protect against solar radiation, but isn't designed to shield against increased levels of high mass high-charged cosmic radiation found outside of Earth's orbit. Galactic cosmic radiation that we studied in, this, uh, in, in our paper um, is different. It uh, is a very, um, very high velocity, high mass charged particles that uh, arise in space apparently uh, through uh, supernovas and other galactic events. Um, and these particles are very challenging to shield against with uh, conventional materials. Um, one needs large thicknesses of either water or concrete or lead or something like that to block these effectively. And my understanding is that currently we don't have the technology to shield effectively in spacecraft against these uh, events um, simply because we, we can't carry that much material. NASA currently has plans for a manned mission to an asteroid in 2021 and a trip to Mars scheduled for 2035. O'Banion is confident that over the next few years, researchers will develop methods to protect against these radioactive particles, ensuring that in the future, astronauts can focus on their mission without having to worry about their exposure to cosmic radiation. Now in Ukraine, swarms of jellyfish occupied the waters of the Balaklava Bay near the Ukrainian Black Sea port of Sevastopol on Wednesday, covering the water surface with a thick layer. Many locals said they have never seen such a plague before, and for some, it has been disturbed their traditional hobbies. Some locals said they couldn't believe their eyes first. Just fishermen who occupied the piers were reportedly quite happy with the plague, as the sea bays which hunts jellyfish came to Balaclava Bay to following their prey. Marine biologists were quoted by local media as saying mass of jellyfish might arrive twice a year moved to the coast by the southern wind. When the wind changed, the jellyfish would be chased away. The same happened last time in summer 2012, spoiling the swimming season, but there were much less jellyfish than now, according to witnesses' reports. The phase of life 
in big cities are getting faster and yuppies are looking for more ways to relax. Let's take a look at two ways people are reducing stress in Beijing. One is the game of room escape and the other is hypnosis. Here's more. Room escape was originally a computer game. In recent years, it has been adapted to a real life game. There are more than 10 locations in Beijing where people can play this game. According to the rules, the players are first taken to a house with several iron doors. They then need to find a way out of the house within one hour. Many clues can be found in the house to help the players open the door or get out of the house through other means. <laughs> different houses have different ways of escaping, all of which require players' bold action, careful thought, and teamwork. The entire process is monitored to assure the safety of the players. Many players are white-collar workers looking for a fun diversion on the weekend and a way to relieve stress. I come here every week. The game is a lot of fun. People can forget their unhappiness from work when playing the game. People need to make reservations to play the game. Normally, they need to book half a month in advance for the weekend slot. Another relaxation technique that is gaining popularity is hypnosis from a trained psychologist. The brain is composed of consciousness and subconsciousness. Hypnosis is a way to communicate with your subconscious. The psychologist asks the client questions when he or she is in a state of hypnosis. The aim is for the client to find out their real thoughts. Li Lei says it is a good way for people suffering from insomnia or anxiety to reduce their stress. Christy Skull, CCTV. Still in China, three men stayed in ice huts with freezing temperature for a successive 24 hours on Monday in the Frozen for 24 Hours event held in the Changsha city of central China's Hunan province. The challenge began at around 1.50 p.m. on December 30th and lasted until 2 p.m. on December 31st. The ice rooms is built of ice 1.8 meters long, 1.8 meters wide, and 2 meters high and weighing over 50 kilograms. The temperature in the ice room was maintained at minus five. The challengers should be in the ice room for 24 hours without eating, drinking, sleeping, or resting, and wearing little. The event engaged four challengers, and one quit the match 14 hours after the match began. Shui Dei is the world record keeper of winter swimming in Arctic Pole Icy, and Wang Baoyu has created numerous world records in surviving in extreme low temperature water. Another challenger, Xiao Yong, also successfully came out from the ice hut. And finally, in tennis, top seeds Serbia moved a step closer to the final of the Hopman Cup with a 2-1 victory over Australia on Wednesday. Bernard Tomic gave the host nation the lead when he upset world number one Novak Djokovic 6-4-6-4 before former women's world number one, Anna Ivanovic, leveled the tie with a comprehensive 60-60 over 16-year-old Ashley Barty. In an entertaining encounter, Serbia fought off the challenge of the young Australian pair in the deciding match tiebreak, running out 6-4, 6-7 winners. Serbia now moves to the top of Group A with two wins from their two matches, while Australia have one win from their two ties. Australia will play their final round match on Thursday against Italy, while Serbia take on Germany on Friday. On that note, we end today's world news. See you again next time.